That's all that was. And flamethrower fuel. Magnum rounds. All oh, magnum rounds. I didn't need it. Okay, so I guess I can't take the flamethrower anyway. What are you doing, Mario? It's not Halloween anymore. Oh! Oh, man. Maybe I can use it now. Hour and 30 minutes. But I swear there is something like this where you, like, you moved it. Hmm. And the gap was on, like, right there to the right. And therefore, you could go into an extra room. Bizarre. You see what I mean? Yeah. No, I believe you. <laughs> I just want to get done with the game. <laughs> yeah. Let us out, please. The saw guy is, like, right in the corner of this room right now. See, and now I'm thinking, what was over here? Because I didn't go and check this out yet. Oh, look at this. I didn't even think about that. See, I'm where the boulder is. Yeah. Hmm. There it is. That's what it was. I think there was a wall here. See, see where the boulder right here where I'm standing? Yeah. That's a wall. That's where it crashed through. through. You were right about that. Oh. Hmm. The music gets all weird. Boss battle. Oh, big gigantic spider. I want to do a spider movie. That'd be so nice. Gosh darn it. Oh, lots of spiders, tons of them. Spiders are really easy to come by in about August around here. It's like, you know what, I used to be able to step on them before, and now it's just like, no, you're going to die. Oh, you're going to die now. There's just too many of them. Here they are. See, they're exploding. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know, maybe there's something to heal me up. doesn't matter because I carry too much items. Well, if you had a flamethrower... But I can't because I have too many items. Yeah. <laughs> it's one thing that really ticks me off about this game. They did give you more spaces later on in uh, 2. Wow. There is, oh, that's a knife. Never mind. Man, if I had a dime for every time a spider just, just bit right through my boot. That's what I assume is happening. I'm trying to see like if there's anything I can click on. Spiders wouldn't bother me so much if they didn't have so many webs. Like, I don't like their webs. It's like, what was the point of coming in here? Just to fight that? Find, find a little knife. It's like, oh, I want to go back to that room and grab the first aid spray. Tough. Carrying too much. Yeah. Absolutely not allowed. It's like, I, I feel like there's something in there, though. You know, like, you fight the spider, then what? Maybe yeah, why else would you have to go through all that stuff just to get here? For what? It's like, no, An I need to room? take the flamethrower, and I need to burn off the web that's covering the door. Oh, now they're all gone. Random. See? I see, yeah. Is that what I have to do? Try the knife. Probably oh, the knife. You can't carry the guess knife. Guess what? I can't carry anything. Hmm. Drop an item? Drop an item? Yeah, where am I going to drop stuff off? No, I have to go all the way back out. Irritating. And then I'm probably going to get ambushed. Hmm. I know, attack me. Well, you can save it. <laughs> I do vaguely remember playing this and like I saved it and it's like I was like running through all this stuff a lot.
Hmm. Doing yeah. a bunch of running around. Huh. Climb the ladder. One game that I wish I had again was um see here Resident Evil for the Nintendo GameCube really it's the first Resident Evil but it's a remake it's like all the rooms are different but it's the same idea it's the same thing you're going into a mansion hmm. with Chris Redfield or Jill different version yeah it's like all the rooms are different I think there's like a graveyard outside it looks really really cool weird I love the graphics and that it looked really cool it's really dark hmm. like even a lot more creepier than this game Cool. But I owned it and what I do, oh, I'll let someone borrow it. Now you can have it. Mm. Then, of course, it became iconic. That's the thing, like, nowadays, I don't know if anything that exists today is going to become iconic in the future, like yeah. what we have today. It's because everyone is just making remakes of everything from the 90s. Yeah. No one That's is doing true. anything new. What's the newest thing that's even been done? It's like, what about Iron Man? It's like, no, even like Iron Man, that's a franchise that was already done before. Mm -hmm. Or, um, Guardians of the Galaxy, all right? No, that was based on the comic, comic book. book. Mm -hmm. It's all Marvel. Um... I don't know. I just want to go back to the guardhouse. I don't even know where I'm going. Just running around like a moron. Hmm. I guess becoming iconic is the same thing as going viral, but it. I think rather than instantly taking off when it comes out it's like getting a cult following and then becoming greater than you ever were later on down the road yeah it's like wow that's a that's a classic it's like yeah nobody liked it when it first came out but now you now you just eat it up like oh look it's a classic oh resident evil 2 resident evil 1 oh i love this game but back in the day it was just a game yeah Yeah, like what I was saying, back in the day, Resident Evil came out, that was a new game. Mm-hmm. But it's like, we're like in movies, though, it's like everything is like I mean remakes. I don't think anyone would do that. Ah, oh, dang fly. Stupid fly, get out of there. Dumb animals. Um, I don't even think anyone would do that back then. Like, oh, you gotta play this game, it's so awesome, it's so cool. I was like, I don't think anyone was really that jazzed about it. But I think people today are just that excited about these old games. Much more excited than they were when they came out in the first place. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna drop off a ton of stuff that I feel like I don't need. So what do I want to drop off? The sure, eagle emblem. Oh, the shield emblem? Crank. Why not? How about yeah. those two? Leave it there for Jason Statham. I'm probably saying that wrong. Wasn't it called Crank? Yeah. Okay. Good. Oh, blimey. All right. Also, in movies, I feel like everybody's trying to be Jason Statham now. Look at me, I'm bold. I have a Cockney accent.
Dog? Is that your impression? <laughs> I'm trying to liven up the gameplay for everyone because we're sitting. <laughs> oh, okay. Sitting here, it's boring. Because <laughs> that's all it is, is me running back and forth. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, so there's no purpose. <laughs> Alright, what did I want to grab? I came in here and there was stuff in here I wanted to grab. That's why I cleaned up my inventory. <laughs> oh man. No, I'm stop. lost. <laughs> Whatever. Like Tweedledink over there had something. Like a clip and I don't know if he had anything else. Oh I know get attacked. Then mm. here there's a first aid spray. Do I need that? No. I don't want it. It's frustrating because in situations like these, you can never tell when you can go around the corner. You know, sometimes it's just like <clears throat> the two walls meet up. Yeah. And you just can't get around. Like, like, oh, is, are they like, is that a corner or is that is there a hallway around the corner there? Yeah, like over here. Like, is there something this way? Yeah. Like, you can't tell, because your camera's all the way freaking down the hallway. Come on, chill. <laughs> because of this injury, he's holding something. Oh, clip. Would you like to take the paper clip? So nothing I don't want. The Microsoft paper clip? See, that's what's nice about playing the game by yourself is I don't have to worry about trying to keep people entertained. Like, mm. I'm like, okay, I'll go back and I'll, I'll explore an area 20 times. Yeah, you can chill out and play the game at your leisure. Like, I might even go back and see Enrico like another 12 times. But the audience doesn't want to see that. They want to see me continue on and beat the game. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Just so stupid doing random stuff like that, and like, oh. why is it even like people watching it? I guess not even funny. <laughs> Probably not. But if they were here, it'd be funny. Yeah. <laughs> Two forty. There. Now, what did that unlock? See that opened. So I remember something like that too with the flamethrower. Yeah. You take it up and then something lifts. It's like, well, what lifted? And that's what happened with the shotgun. So you had to have the broken one to put it in its place. Put it in its place. Maybe that's what I have to do. Maybe I'll lift up the other one. And like something occurs, and then I have to put. Hmm. Put yeah, it maybe you take one of the flamethrowers and put it in the other one's place or something. Mm. This is Enrico, right? Um. Yes. Question mark. So I kind of want to get back to where that spider was. I'm just not sure where it was now. Enrique, who asked us why there is only one species intelligent.
<sighs> I was thinking it wouldn't be too difficult to make. I used to make games. Oh, so now it's locked. It's huh? still locked. I used to make games using a computer program called Hyper Studio. It was going to be the next um, presentation software, but you could also make games with it, with like point and click kind of stuff, if you wanted to. That's what it did. It locked that door. Yeah. Okay. Um, so now I need the other flamethrower then. I think Hyper Studio was just too technical for people, so they went with PowerPoint instead, mm -hmm. the Play School version. But um, Hyper Studio was pretty friggin' awesome, and it did things in uh, hypertext, basically. That's HTML. Hmm. Computer uh, website programming yeah. language. So I was thinking, you know, it wouldn't be too difficult to do a point and click game in HTML. It'd be kind of fun. So the doors lock whenever you take those. Okay. But what do you need it for? See, I wonder if I needed to burn that web off. Yeah. It's like, no, 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 you're, you're just overthinking it now. You're just overthinking it. I bet you do, though. Theoverthinktank.com? I wasn't sure what you thought about my um, re-edit of your commercial. Hmm. Well, it's doing something. Where you're saying shenanigans like four times. Yeah. Shenanigans? Shenanigans. Shenanigans. Okay, so wow. I just got did something. Bored. Did something, wow. I was right. Boom. Now what? Um, you're over encumbered. Right, walking towards me? Yeah, and you can't see a freaking thing. Here's a door. Wow. No, no, nothing around the corner. <coughs> Will you put down the flamethrower? Yeah, that'll unlock the door. It's locked. Okay. It's over here. Oh, I know. Oh, wow. You, you excited about that? Wow. Should oh, you, have, get a, you get a thing. Should have the... um. Yeah, get soundboard. Get soundboard in here. That's what I like about this, though. It's like this. After watching the Overthink Tank, it's like then you go to watch the American Gaming Geeks. It's like, oh no, this is peaceful and relaxing now. Like the other one was like super high energy all the time. It's like now we're not just always trying to please on this show. We're just chilling out. Now I'm probably gonna run out of ink ribbon. Chris Cabellus. <laughs>